This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2019. Surgeons rely on classical guidelines to create incisions perpendicular to skin folds, which often result in broad hypertrophic scars. These scars can be aesthetically displeasing, as well as sensitive and painful. To minimize scarring, researchers at the University of California, San Diego and Military Central Hospital Koblenz in Germany proposed that optimal incision lines should be determined based on the direction of stria. Stria, which generally occur during puberty and pregnancy, are caused by folds of collagen that form perpendicular to skin tension lines or main folding lines. A thin scar is formed when the incision is made parallel to these bands, but a broad scar occurs when the incision cuts across these bands due to retraction of the collagen fibers. The researchers assessed the direction of a scar with that of the stria-derived folding lines by comparing photographs of 213 individuals with stria with 276 images of incisions and scars. Incisions were judged to be optimal when they were made within the main folding line or suboptimal when the resulting scar was hypertrophic. They concluded that classically described Langer cleavage lines often run counter to real tension lines and poorly predict the optimal direction for skin incisions, whereas stria are a more objective indicator for the direction of true tension lines since they follow the natural anti-tension lines of the skin of all individuals, irrespective of age and race. Using this information, they developed guidelines for surgeons to avoid hypertrophic scars when making common orthopedic incisions. For example, posterior vertical incisions between the axilla and humeral joint should be made instead of anterior incisions across the shoulder joint and deltoid muscle, while knee incisions can be made in a half-circular pattern either medially or laterally at natural folds. Thus, to minimize hypertrophic scarring in young patients, surgeons planning incisions should comprehensively consider the target site, the direction of underlying muscles, nerves, and vessels, as well as other critical factors.